Veteran ex-women forward uh, Emma Taylor in her fifth year, providing some leadership for the team out there this afternoon. Scored four tries. How do you feel the ex-women played as a whole? Um, Mike kind of mentioned after the game, he probably said something to you too. We played 60 really, really hard minutes, and I found the last 20, the last 10 especially, we actually just started to get outworked. Um, so I don't know if that's fitness or just losing a little mental focus because of the score. But, I mean... As a whole, I think we worked really well as a team. We just have to make sure we can do it for 80 minutes. Okay, and you're sporting a little injury there. You got knocked in the head. Just take <laughs> us through what happened there in the second half. Um, I got the ball and I went into contact and me and another girl both hit heads and I checked to see if I had a black eye and I touched my eye and there's blood everywhere. So I scurried off and two seconds later, Mike said, you ready to go back on? So, <laughs> so you'll be ready for next week in Acadia. Of course, of course. And anything the team needs to work on looking ahead to that tough match in Wolfville? Um, like I mentioned, just playing 80 hard minutes of rugby, keeping it simple, running straight, and if we can do all that, I'd say we got them. Okay. Anyone you may want to say hello to watching today on AUS TV or on goexco.ca? Yeah, I'd like to say hi to my dad because he couldn't be here because he had to work. My mom's up there, so I'll give her a shout-out even though she's just over there. But other than that, I'd like to say hi, Dad, and hi to my sister and brother.